Fox 35 News starts now with breaking news. A crack in a carjacking case. The man you see here holding a rifle and carjacking a woman is believed to be in custody. The Seminole County Sheriff is calling him a strong person of interest in this case. Thanks for joining us on this Friday. I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. And I'm John Brown. The Sheriff gave us an update on this case this afternoon. Now, it is confusing. There's a lot of names. There's a lot of dates. So we're going to walk through how we got to this point. So let's take a look at how it all started. We're talking last week on Wednesday. That's when a tow truck driver was shot and killed in the Taft neighborhood in Orange County. Detectives will only say that this murder is connected, but they aren't saying why or how. Then, not even 24 hours later, Catherine Aguas Vivas was violently carjacked at an intersection in Winter Springs. This, by the way, was that video that went viral as she was taken at gunpoint. Her car was found torched with the body inside. Now, again, a lot to follow, a lot of names connected to this case, which brings us back to a couple of men who made news today. The one in custody right now is a person of interest. Jordan Torres Garcia is the person who the sheriff believes carjacked the woman. The second person is Giovanni Crespo. He's still on the run. So we're going to head out to Fox 35's Patrick Perez. So Patrick, do we know yet how all of these people are somehow connected? Well, Donna, if you have been tracking this case since last week, you know that this case is a complicated one. So far, it looks like a lot of people involved, but it really does seem like investigators are so much closer now to finally solving this case. Here's what we've learned today, John. The sheriff says Giovanni Crespo was one of the last people Catherine Aguas Vivas spoke with on the day of the carjacking. Investigators learned that after her brother went through her iCloud and saw his information on there, he ended up FaceTiming Crespo and then took a screenshot. He he then sent that screenshot to detectives who were then able to match the man in that screenshot with the mugshot of Crespo from back in 2019. He's now wanted on drug charges after deputies found fentanyl in a home that he shared with a woman after carrying out a search warrant. That woman was arrested yesterday and accused of trafficking cocaine. And now let's go back to Jordanish Torres Garcia. Investigators learned he communicated via Facebook with the dealership that sold the green Acura in that viral video that we all saw of of that carjacking. Notice the sweater he's wearing in his Facebook profile picture. The sheriff says that sweater matches the same sweater as the man seen carjacking Aguas Vivas in that video, but they have not yet been able to confirm it's the same man. Still, they're listing him as a person of interest. He's now in custody being questioned as he was wanted on gun charges in an unrelated case. We're listing him as a person of interest a strong, as strong as you can get as a person of interest. And I'm sure that as evidence comes in, we will update what his status is and what we're actually calling him. And Sheriff Lima says right now they are waiting on cell phone videos, evidence, all sorts of information to hopefully help investigators connect the final dots in this case. But at least for now, we know that they do have in custody the man believed to have carjacked Aguas Vivas. And now there's a warrant out for the arrest of the man Aguas Vivas last spoke with while she was traveling here to Central Florida before eventually calling her husband when she felt that she was being trailed. John. Yeah, Patrick, I know a lot of people are confused. So many names, so many places here. So have investigators figured out why Aquas Vivas traveled from South Florida up to our area yet? Yeah, so John, you may recall in the early stages of this that Sheriff Lima had mentioned that supposedly, according to what the husband told investigators, she was coming up here to visit family. At the time, they say they couldn't find any family for her. They have now been able to confirm that she does, in fact, have at least two family members here in Central Florida. But here's the thing. Both of those family members told detectives they were not expecting her. Now, this is what's interesting. According to what her brother told detectives after speaking with Crespo, which is now that wanted man via FaceTime. Crespo claims that Aguas Vivas was here to deliver money and other stuff for a friend. Sheriff Lima did not go into any detail or elaborate on what that stuff is. John. All right. Thanks a lot, Patrick.